What's up guys? Sometimes when you live in Canada, like I do, as you guys know, it's so cold outside. The first thing that always gets like really, really numb, my feet. You hop on Amazon, you buy a bunch of those like hand and feet warmers, and then you're good to go for like eight hours. I almost forgot to mention, you gotta cover your face. How you doing? Right. We're gonna go rob a bank. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he thinks I'm kidding. <laughs> It'd be funny if like that guy saw the news like at six o'clock and we actually robbed a bank. He'd be like, oh, they told me they were gonna rob that bank. I can't vlog with that on my face. What's up guys? Welcome to Niagara Falls. I figured I would come out get new Instagram photos, but I wanted to teach you guys a really unique way to stand out on the platform that one of my friends has been doing recently. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Oh, fancy, fancy seeing you here in the woods. <laughs> Commence Niagara Falls B-roll. Massive cloud of water that just keeps destroying our gear. This guy left his car outside on a really cold day since 8 o'clock this morning, and now it is no longer a vehicle, it is an ice cube. Look at this! <laughs> Look at this! Since this morning. This morning. Not even six hours, probably. Oh my goodness, dude, it's solid. Oh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I have no idea. What are you gonna do? You need a chainsaw, man. <laughs> I wish I could help you, but I mean, I, I got nothing. I just can't, I just can't, <laughs> I can't stop filming it. I've never seen anything like it. One of the first photos I ever saw from Alan was actually from Niagara Falls in the winter. I remember I was sitting in my bed, scrolling, and he was on the suggested user page, and I was like, oh, what, where, how far is that? Why, I need that picture, so. That's where so we're suggested. here to almost recreate that picture, if we can, we're gonna see. I don't know right now, it's kinda misty, but. It's gonna be, it's gonna be We're out here, and we're it gonna looks, try it. It looks amazing. Tell everybody how long you've been doing photography and Instagram, and how you got into this whole crazy world of like social media. I say it began about seven years ago, the photography, and then the Instagram portion began about four years ago. Just traveling around, sharing kind of the things I was seeing. Aren't you an architect? You're not even a, like a photographer by trade, right? I'm a, I'm a designer, urban designer. I was, I started my master's in architecture, but I dropped out. You know why? Because this is a lot for better. The gram. For the gram. <laughs> for the gram. I did it for the gram. So Alan's gonna show you something he's been doing that's super dope. That I, would you call them like? Would you call them like a little series, like a little photo series? Yeah, for curated, your stories. Curated Instagram series. This is a way that you could tell your story of what you shot that day or what you experienced. A lot of people just post one photo and they spend a week or two weeks in one place. So this is a good way for your fans and your followers to figure out what it is you're shooting. For instance, I spent like a full day in Houston, took a ton of photos, but the only Houston shot that actually made it onto my vlog was of a McLaren, which which was a dope picture, but it said nothing about my trip to Houston. So this is a great way to not like jam up your grid with like a hundred Niagara Falls frozen amazing photos, but pick like five of the best ones and make like a little photojournalistic like series documenting that day that maybe Oh, we'll get into the brand stuff after. Documenting that day, stuff like that. So, commence Niagara Falls frozen icy B-roll with Alan. Let's do this. Let's go. My road mic completely frozen. Like absolutely doesn't, none of the buttons even work. Backpack completely frozen. So we're trying to find like a nice little quiet spot safe from the mist cloud of ice. 
to continue the vlog tutorial, if you will. This should work up here. What do you think? Yeah, that's cool. I think this looks good. Yeah. Oh, the creepy back alley of Niagara Falls. Yeah, good light. We're safe. Safe from the elements. As safe as one can be. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> this is crazy. We were like just inside having a coffee. Surprise. Came outside within two seconds. Everything is iced over again. This is like the hardest conditions to vlog and make movies in. But it makes good movies. That's for sure. We okay. made it. We made it. Yeah. High five. Yes. The photo series really began when I started working with a couple of different brands uh, like Mercedes. They would get me to document my daily, I guess, activities. So I would go out and shoot, whether or not it would be film or video, and then I would come back and I would edit into a sequence of different videos and clips. Basically what happened that day and you know what, it made the storytelling process a lot easier. A lot of people forget that. If you want to share a story with someone, they have to have more than just one still image to kind of base the story on. This is how I was able to show people exactly what was happening on the day-to-day -day activities that I was shooting. And I love that because there's so many times like you have so many good photos to post or you want to consecutively bring someone through the process of a day or the process of a trip or the process of a shoot for a brand. And it's hard to do that with one photo. So having a little series that you can kind of curate and edit with text, which we're gonna talk about, to put on Instagram stories is a really unique way of using that platform to just kind of like squeeze everything you can out of it. And I love that he's doing that. And I mean, I'm the worst for Instagram stories, like the absolute worst. I usually fall into the same problem that most people fall into is like, I use my Instagram stories to like update everybody about like, hey, new post, swipe up. But what most people do is swipe past because just using it as another means of notification to let them know that you posted somewhere else seems kind of redundant. I'm trying to leverage the platform and I'm like, uh Hey, Pete over here. Be nice. You know, I'm not just telling people to swipe up. It's more of kind of <laughs> ch sharing. This guy. This guy is just, he's roasting me on my own video. What? <laughs> no, but he's right. He's right. I, I'm like, my story game, considering the people I hang out with, should be considerably better. But we're all working on things. We're all See, working on things. You're Pete, just leveraging Pete it. is the master of holding the camera on me. <laughs> now I gotta cooperate and tell you guys how to do what I do, right? I, I will make you look bad. But you're leveraging the platform. No, I, it's not I, meant yeah. for what you're doing. No, absolutely. I mean, Instagram was created for people just to share content, not really do anything else other than that. And when you, as a photographer at least, when I go and out and I'm shooting stuff, I want to tell people what I was doing. It's not just a matter of sharing photos. It's, it's getting them to feel like they were part of the story. And you know what? It teaches them something along the journey. Is that no photo you take is ever bad. So you got to go back fish out all those photos and you know throw a nice series together. I want to see what you guys come up with. I layer on different texts on my photos. Um, it's just another additive that you add on top of your photos just to pull people in kind of direct them in terms of the story And no one knows what the sequence is gonna be about if you don't kind of direct them. So oh, we no. should we should we should explain that If you're someone that just likes Instagram because it's fun to post photos. That's fine. There's no pressure That's what it's made for but if you're someone who wants to turn it into a brand or use it as a means to like express your creativity so that you can hopefully get business with that creativity moving forward, this is for you. You gotta make some changes. Yeah, this is for you. So that's, that's, that's I should preface with that, because I know a lot of people out there are like, I don't, that's not, that's not fun. That ruins Instagram, that, that's not what I wanna do. And that's fine. But if you wanna take this to like a professional level, like Alan, and work for brands and make money based off what you're putting on Instagram, these are great tips, so. It's great practice too. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try to curate your content in a better fashion. Another thing that Instagram recently made up in, in terms of their update, they allowed you to archive your stories. So I have these like cool sequences that tell uh, the viewer or whatever, whoever's viewing my profile, exactly what I did on those specific days if I choose to archive it. Oh, so you, you just name there. them. You just name them yeah, like the location. You name the location and you throw in as many photos as you want and it stays there as long as your feed's alive. That's smart. Pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. Won't you sing for me? Do we fall asleep? The night is young. That's a wrap for Niagara Falls. Uh, we're headed back to the city now. It's uh, we're losing light. It's four o'clock. That means we have like the sun's here. We have like 40 minutes of light left. So maybe get back to Toronto, get a coffee, get in the truck, back home to edit these awesome Instagram story journalistic series photo. I don't even know, what do you, what do we call these? Anyways, let's go. You would have skates in your trunk. <laughs> look, look at this bag, dude. 
Oh my goodness, everything is just iced. <sighs> Bottom line for today is you're gonna use Instagram not the way Instagram intended you to use it, but leverage that creativity, like things like photo series that Alan here is doing, and links for everything below. If you guys don't follow Alan, I've left his links below. You can also follow those links over to the Instagram stories that we shot today, little photo series from Niagara and Toronto or whatever. You'll find them on my stories, his stories. His stories. Yeah, it's everyone's stories. It gets confusing, this web of social media, but either way, thank you to this guy for guys. inspiring me and hopefully Hopefully you guys too. I gotta drive all the way home. I gotta drive the whole way home. I totally forgot. <laughs> I still have like an hour to go. This this Poor day God, ends for sorry, you I'm now. Sorry, I got, I got like an fault. hour, and it's like it's like the worst weather outside right now. Thanks for everything. Cheers Great for seeing you. Thanks for the Cheers tips. Too, I'll see you on the interweb. <laughs> see you on. See you in the DMs. We could build a dream, start up something new.